Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. I'm Harry Urban, publisher of FDMC and Woodworking Network. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 Wood Industry 40 Under 40 Awards presentation. Now, as you know, this presentation would originally have taken place in a face-to-face -face reception at IWF this week, but we all know what happened. This year's 40 Under 40 program is brought to you by Hexagon and Timber Products. Joining me this afternoon are Paul Lasavio, America's Marketing Manager for Hexagon, and, Cal and Cassie Stout, Marketing Associate for Timber Products. Our MCs for this event are Will Sampson, Editor of FDMC, and Karen Koenig, Woodworking Network Red Book and Red Book Editor. You're going to hear from these folks in just a moment, uh, but just a little housekeeping. I, I also want to give a shout out to Tim Fixmer, the CEO and President of CCI Media and Woodworking Network. Ordinarily, Tim would be delivering these opening remarks, but uh, Tim's town, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, was hit by a really nasty storm a couple of weeks ago. Tim and his family are fine and safe, but he's dealing with dodgy internet, so for now, you just are stuck with me. Um, just a few other points to bring up. We're now in our fifth year of celebrating the 40 under 40, and we couldn't be more pleased with the roster of nominees for this year's distinction. It's always difficult to pick the best of the best, but the class of 2020 has also been rocked by the COVID-19 pandemic. And I, I applaud these honorees for their ability to keep their companies moving forward. And this the toughest of times while also dedicating themselves to their communities and public causes. These are outstanding women and men who paint a bright future for our industry. Now, at the end of today's presentation, you'll be treated also to some videos by this year's honorees. So I encourage you to stay on to the very end to enjoy those videos. Also, if you'd like to download a, a copy of this presentation, it's available right there in your control panel. Um, and, and speaking of the control panel, take a few moments to congratulate this year's honorees using the chat function on that control panel. And we'll do our best to um, get those comments and uh, remarks out to the honorees. So uh, let's let's make this as interactive as possible. I also want you to know that this presentation will be available, is being recorded and will be available on demand by tomorrow. So um, right now I'd like to turn it over to Cassie Stout from Timber Products to say a few words. Cassie. Hello. Yes, Timber Products, we are very proud to co-sponsor this year's class of 40 Under 40. Um, at Timber, we understand the importance of celebrating innovative thoughts and actions within our industry. So thank you to the Woodworking Network for continuing with this recognition for the fifth year in a row. It's great. And congratulations to this year's honorees for their many, many achievements. Each of you serve as an inspiration for not only the current members of this industry, but also those who are in the early stages of their careers um, who are joining us. Um, you should all feel very proud of your accomplishments. They are well-deserved. I enjoyed reading about everything you guys have accomplished thus far. Um, our industry is very fortunate to have you. Keep up the great work, and we wish you all the best in the future. Oh, thanks a lot, Cassie. And um, now I'd like to introduce uh, Paul Asavi, who is also a past 40 Under 40 uh, award winner. Paul? All right, thanks, Harry, and uh, thanks, Cassie. Uh, my name is Paul Savio. I'm with uh, Hexagon. We are the makers of Alpha Cam and Cabinet Vision in the market, if you've heard of that. Um, just wanted to say congratulations to each one of you. This is a, a very big honor for the industry. I think um, our company has always been um, very involved in this program. Uh, we're a proud sponsor because of all the things that the 40 Under 40 program and that Woodworking Network does for the continuation of professional development. Uh, in the industry. Um, I think, you know, as Harry mentioned, you know, this has been a, a wild and crazy year for everybody. I hope that you are all safe and uh, healthy through all of this, but it does show that uh, when there are times are changing that it's great to have young people and new and fresh ideas. So I want to encourage all of you guys to continue your leadership development. It's um, it's a great industry to be in and you guys are a shining example of the the young and fresh and new ideas that can come to manufacturing so i just wanted from all of us at hexagon to say congratulations to you all uh, it's very well deserved and uh look forward to seeing all the great things that you guys do with your careers so thanks again 
Thanks, Paul. And uh, let me say thanks again to Hexagon and Timber Products for sponsoring the 40 Under 40. We really appreciate your support, you guys. So now I'm going to turn it over to our MCs, Karen Koenig and Will Sampson, and they'll uh, introduce you to the 40 Under 40 for 2020. Will and Karen, take it away. Well, I want to say for more than 140 submissions received and approximately 120 individuals nominated, these 40 were selected. Hi, as Hi. Harry mentioned, my name's Karen Koenig, and Will Sampson and I will be, will be spotlighting the honorees in this year's Wood Industry 40 Under 40. Before we begin, I'd like to once again thank Timber Products Company and Hexagon Production Software for sponsoring the class of 2020. And I'd also like to thank Epilogue Laser for providing the plaques for our honorees. Now, let's introduce you to the 40 Under 40 class of 2020. Our first honoree is Joey Anton, Vice President of Operations, Anton Cabinetry. A forward thinker who loves problem solve, Joey is constantly analyzing the company and looking for ways to improve the processes and become a better leader and help the bottom line, says his nominator. Uh, he's an advocate of lean manufacturing. Because of Joey, our team has been able to rearrange our process flow to reduce waste, reduce product damage on shipping, and reduce lifting injuries. We have been able to create ways for others to be successful with their responsibilities and work together to streamline our production. Congratulations to Joey Anton. Next is Brad Bartha, Division Operations Manager at Genesis Products. A born leader and mentor, Brad leads over 200 hourly and 16 men managers in day-to-day -day operations for three of the company's lamination plants. He's also been instrumental in implementing and executing 5S programs, Jemba walks, tier board visual management, as well as regular process audits at the plants. And his drive to excel has helped take operations to the next level. Brad, has set, Brad sets his sights on doing whatever it takes to master the goal at hand, says this one nominator. And another one adds, his personal touch and empathy to employees have been demonstrated in almost all plants excelling in their performance metrics. Congratulations, Brad. Our next honoree is Tim Becker, Jr., an engineer at Five Acre Mill. A man of many talents, Tim combines woodworking with his passion for science and engineering and his love of art and music. His graphic depiction and definition of the woodworking process makes for easier understanding and standardization, including the use of 3D printed parts to help customers visualize the final project. His ability to think in four dimensions also allows him to carve unique shapes for his customers' needs, adds the nominator. Using an artist's eye and engineer's thinking in combination to make things better, skilled musician Tim is also known for creating custom guitars and his charitable endeavors. Congratulations, Tim. Next up is John Boston, General Manager of Caldwell Cabinets of North Carolina, LLC, doing business as Caseworks. John's leadership efforts at Caseworks have spurred the cabinetry and millwork firm to nearly 5 million in annual sales. His nominator notes, I've personally been motivated to be a better leader by being on his team. I've seen him challenge our team time and time again to be better, to work harder, and to accept nothing less than exceptional results. His investments in our team have certainly generated high returns. An exceptional estimator, cabinet maker, home builder, salesman, and more, John has always been willing to do whatever it takes to be successful and wear whatever hat necessary to ensure the company succeeds. Congratulations, John. Our next honoree is Kenny Bowling, business manager at TN Box Beams. Successful entrepreneur, servant leader, and skilled woodworker are just some of the phrases used to describe Kenny, who is always willing to go the extra mile 
and has been instrumental in building a brand that is known for transforming homes and lives, says his nominator. TN Box Beams helps fund the work of Narrowgate and its initiatives. Narrowgate Lodge, which helps young men searching for direction, and Narrowgate Exchange, which equips young men in economically disadvantaged countries with the skills to start and operate sustainable businesses. Congratulations, Kenny. Next is Laura Bryan, Director of Marketing and Sales at Diplomat Closet Design. Considered a catalyst and inspiration for every employee, when the company revamped, Laura dove headfirst into new CRM that coincided with the marketing trained new designer sales reps, worked through pers personnel changes, all while continuing to sell and grow key accounts, says her nominator. At mid-March, she says, sales were up 50% compared to the previous year, and the company had the right people, processes, and procedures in place to get through the COVID-19 pandemic unscathed because of her dedication to get them to that position. Congratulations, Laura. Our next honoree is Emily Burgoyne, Product Manager at Masonite Architectural. Emily has proven to be a key contributor in the wood industry, given her ability to envision, manage, and complete complex projects, such as new product development, product launches, and market and consumer research. Her leadership skills are continually displayed while leading multifunctional project teams. Her ability to present and effectively communicate her ideas truly separates her from her peers, says her nominator. Among her accomplishments, Emily developed and executed major product launches at Closet Made and has reshaped the positioning of TFL within the Masonite architectural portfolio and qualified specialty laminates from leading manufacturers for use on wood doors. Congratulations, Emily. Next is Ryan Castro, president of Mountain Showcase Group Incorporated. Described as motivated and dedicated, Ryan has grown the custom cabinetry maker from 1 million to 5 million and has made the Inc. 5000 list of fast growing companies three years in a row. Ryan has purchased the most techni technically advanced equipment and software to make our operation as lean as possible, says this nominator. The shop is producing higher quality products more efficiently while making it safer and easier for our employees. His interaction with our team has made for, more fam for a more family environment where we all look out for each other and help each other. This comes from his leadership. Congratulations, Ryan. Our next honoree is Naomi Cohen, Director of Design at Cohen Architectural Woodworking, LLC. A driving force in the growth and success of the company, Naomi plays a leading role in the design, scheduling, and logistics of the architectural woodwork firm's many key and award-winning commercial projects, including healthcare facilities and airports. She is passionate about her work, her team, and her clients. Her role requires an extreme amount of attention to detail and good communication skills, says her nominator. Naomi works one-on-one -on -one with clients, understands their pain points, and is excellent at helping create a design solution that not only works well with the client's goals and objectives, but exceeds their expectations. Congratulations, Naomi. Next is Taylor Dame, residual sales and marketing manager at Woodgrain Millwork. An outside the box thinker, Taylor rebranded and helped drive the company's byproduct sales of sawdust from a few few hundred thousand dollars to more than two million in just three years. The residuals from the millwork are used for animal bedding, sold under the Nature's by Woodgrain brand, and to manufacture Timberland brand heating pellets. Says the nominator, Taylor does a great job at looking at all opportunities and exploring how he can increase the bottom line. Because of the effort from Taylor and his team, we've been able to create a revenue stream that wasn't there in the past. Great job, Taylor. Our next honoree is Jeff Dasso, uh, or Daso, I'm not sure, founder and CEO of Daso Custom Cabinetry. Having grown his company significantly in size and scope, 
Jeff is unique in that he can step in and do everyone's job and do it well, says one nominator. He wants everyone to succeed and can see the diamond in the rough and knows what it takes to make it shine. A good business owner knows that when their employees shine, so does their company. Another also notes, Jeff's local presence has allowed him to hire within the community, support the area as a small business and give back in charitable ways. Congratulations, Jeff. Next is Cole DeRosier, owner and operator of Integrity Custom Cabinetry, LLC. Integrity, passionate, hard worker are just some of the words used to describe Cole. Under his leadership, the custom cabinetry and millwork firm has almost doubled in revenue each year. According to his nominator, Cole has the ability to be involved in every aspect. You can often find him in the shop or out in the field in order to guarantee the product meets its expectations. He takes pride in each and every piece that's produced and makes each customer feel as though they are getting a special and unique product fitting specifically to their home. Congratulations, Cole. Our next honoree is Jacob Edmond, Director of Engineering at USA Millwork. Jacob has personally envisioned and implemented all of the engineering libraries and scheduling tools we use across all locations, says his nominator. That's no easy feat for a company of five regional firms, IBS Millwork, O'Keefe Millwork, Cabinets by Design, Freelance Millwork, and Mission Bell Millwork. Adds his nominator, our company is filled with millwork giants, men and women who are both Jacob's senior by age and experience many who are known for achievements as CEOs at other companies. And yet, when Jacob talks, they listen. His depth of knowledge and passion for what he does break through any bias. Congratulations, Jacob. Next is Jordan Gurren Rose, owner of Goodwood NOLA LLC, at a company known for its sustainability and community efforts, including assisting during the COVID-19 crisis Jordan's been driven to design sustainable products and timeless designs that inspire his community. In addition, he strives to empower his team and advance their skills by empowering them to lead projects for the company, says one nominator. Adds another nominator, Jordan is incredibly hardworking, thoughtful, and has an unrivaled attention to detail. Whether it's working on a piece of furniture, dealing with our staff, meeting with clients, tirelessly updating our shop, or just answering some emails. He puts 150% of his effort in every time. Congratulations, Jordan. Our next honoree is Lindsay Heights, sales and design manager at Danley Wood Products. An agent of change, Lindsay implemented the use of production authorization, paint awareness, and change orders forms, instituted a purchase order system, began tracking expenses per job, calculating gross profit, and also designed and launched the cabinet brand for DWP Custom Cabinetry. Next on the agenda is to expand Danley's geographic footprint and grow sales, none of which can be done successfully if we first do not have processes and procedures in place to ensure the production of the job runs smoothly and accurately and is profitable at the end of the day, she says. Lindsay is also involved in community endeavors. Congratulations, Lindsay. Next is Morgan Hopfensberger, Creative Director at Microjig. You may see his face, he's becoming a face of the company and he's appeared in nearly all of Microjig's videos from product debuts to walking people through a project and Instagram stories. Morgan's videos have generated over 6 million views, says his nominator. He's also helped Microjig fine tune its website, packaging photography, and video marketing. This has contributed to quadrupled direct to consumer sales and strengthened their dealer network. Beyond that, Morgan has been instrumental in helping Microjig to develop products that revolutionize the shop, build market share, and make a difference in the woodworking community and beyond. Congratulations, Morgan. Our next honoree is Nick Coley, CEO of Woodworks Mill Shop. 
Moving from the hustle and bustle of Wall Street banking, Nick found a more fulfilling career designing and producing custom woodwork for residential and commercial projects across the United States. Through his efforts, his nominator says, Nick also provides inspiration for younger people to get into a woodworking profession. Summing up his philosophy toward woodworking, Nick says in part, I hope in everything that we build for our clients, they see a piece of themselves. I hope that they know that they had a hand in everything they're seeing. Congratulations, Nick. Next is Leah Krig, Senior Project Manager and Co-Owner of Northland Woodworks. Along with her efforts at the cabinetry firm, Leah co-founded the local group Women in Construction in recognition of the increasing number of women in what's been historically a male-dominated industry. While bringing, quote, a lot of positive attention to our company, her nominator says, her vision and execution have led to a larger network of highly connected female trade professionals who are very savvy business people interested in peer networking and supporting those who get involved. Too often women are seen as the background of a company and WINC has allowed women to become to come to the forefront, sharing successes and elevating others in a way that hasn't existed until now. Great job, Leah. Our next honoree is Corey Lorison, uh, Processing and Projects Manager at Lorison Kitchens Limited. Corey has been instrumental in the company's embrace of new technology to improve its processes. Implementing Bridget Closeout, for example, has greatly reduced the number of service calls, provides us with clear picture of our major sites and the service completed as well as the timetable of all service items, says his nominator. His efforts have also benefited the industry overall as he brings awareness of these types of programs to the trades. His nominator adds, as the third generation of this family owned business, there is a pride and love of the industry that he comes by naturally. Congratulations, Corey. Next is Jesse Mullet, president of New Camp. A man of many talents, Jesse's a marathon runner, Ironman, cycling champion, philanthropist, businessman, and of course, a woodworker. His nominator calls him highly motivated, to say the least. Under Jesse's leadership, the award-winning company, known for its high-quality RVs, including teardrop trailers and truck campers, has also been recognized for its excellence in manufacturing. In addition to lean principles, giving back is also a huge part of the corporate culture. In 2018, for example, Jesse peddled 3,400 miles cross-country while raising money for pure Gift of God, an organization committed to helping families overcome financial barriers to adoption. Congratulations, Jesse. Our next honoree is Vanessa Navarro, Marketing Manager at Exalta Coding Systems. Vanessa is a go-to person when things need to get done. She developed the Wood Vibes program that increases market awareness of Exalta's uh, wood divisions, color capabilities, and is the lead person for the new product brand strategies. The nominator adds, her ideas are always fresh, modern, and capture the zeitgeist of the market. Vanessa also coordinates the social media strategy for the division. No easy task, and has galvanized others to participate in the effort always willing to send her talents to worthy causes. She was Exalta's event leader for Go Baby Go, a group that builds special cars for mobility challenged children. Congratulations, Vanessa. Next is Frank Nunez, plant manager, Alvic USA LLC. Described as highly professional, motivated and experienced beyond his years. Frank was responsible for production at Alvik's 350,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Auburndale, Florida. His efforts have ensured the facility achieves the high levels of quality and consistency the global award-winning company's cabinetry and furniture panels are known for, says his nominator. Known for his ability to work effectively under pressure in a fast-paced environment, 
Frank has composed a great team of people working together through a common goal to ramp up all the USA's pressing, lacquering, and cut to size production, the nominator adds. Great job, Frank. Our next honoree is Mika Old, Director of Marketing and Sales at Oldwood LLC. Mika is a rock star, says her nominator. Along with managing national and international flooring sales, she also designs displays, assists at shows worldwide, and helps manage high profile projects, including the Singapore JW Marriott, Kuwait Ministry of Education, Museum of Modern Art, New York City, Olympic Museum, and Chicago Children's Museum. Between projects, she handles roughneck trucking companies for the flooring and firewood divisions daily shipments and also manages and creates content for the company's website oldwood.us and firewoodnm.com her nominator adds mika is always on point helping guiding thinking and doing the work congratulations and next up is Sharla old Vice President of International Operations at Old World, Old Wood LLC. At the wood flooring producer, Shiloh does everything from run the six head molder, sanders and shop equipment to being the master of the modern UV IR automated rollout finishing line, all in one day while managing crews of 30 plus folks. In addition, he also manages the firewood division, which has revenues of around a million dollars and is growing says his nominator. Motivated by the thrill of the chase, Shiloh is also an experienced pilot, which he puts to good use at the company. He's a machine, says his nominator, adding that old wood would be nowhere without Shiloh. Congratulations, Shiloh. Our next honoree is Tyler Paskak, uh, Vice President of Eurowood Cabinets Incorporated. Tyler has performed almost every type of job at Eurowood Cabinets, including installation, production, revamping the website, implementing several new policies for employees and company processes. He's rebuilding the company's job tracking program and has taken on the management and total redesign of the showroom. And if that wasn't enough, Tyler has also spearheaded the implementation of the latest software and technologies for all areas of the shop. His nominator adds, Tyler has earned the great respect of all our, our employees. And in turn, they all want to work harder to help improve the company. Congratulations, Tyler. Next is Greg Rawlings, Customer Success Advocate at Energy. Forward thinking and an amazing teacher are just two of the phrases used to describe Greg who creates and helps mill workers integrate ERP software programs to improve their business. Greg genuinely wants to add value to everything that he is doing and will go above and beyond for anyone at any time, says his nominator. Guided by the quote, identity and refined concept, the nominator adds, you can rely on Greg for results. His move from the business world to the woodworking technology world will be one of the many one that benefits many for years to come. Greg is also the current president of the AWI Heart of America chapter. Congratulations, Greg. Our next honoree is James Renfro, Vice President, Woodcare Systems. Along with streamlining company operations, James has engaged in some amazing product development projects that are having a big impact on the preserved wood industry, says his nominator. With ranging from industrial applications, including railway ties, to the repair and remodeling market, an outside the box thinker, James' remediation tools help ensure the look and longevity of wood. He has a critical role in sustainability. It is not just planting more than you cut down, it is making sure the wood lasts long enough for the new trees to grow big enough to replace it. Congratulations, James. Next is Vanessa Richter, co-founder and COO of Troiko Home Solutions and Manufacturing Incorporated. Vanessa has been a trailblazer 
in the male-dominated engineered wood products manufacturing industry, says her nominator. Under Vanessa's leadership, Trico has become BC's most awarded cabinet manufacturer. Her goal of driving exceptional quality and customer service while preserving extensive and sustainable growth, developing best practices, promoting her company culture and vision has been rewarded with the extensive growth Troiko has experienced. There's more. In 2019, Vanessa and her team launched a program to employ young adults with autism spectrum disorder at Troiko's factory. Vanessa also mentors aspiring female entrepreneurs and participates with NKBA and other groups. Congratulations, Vanessa. Our next honoree is Kristen Riggs, Marketing Manager at Chefla North America. In the short time Kristen has been on board at Chefla, she has taken the bull by the horns with a variety of large and small scale projects with a degree of creativity and drive not yet seen before. In addition to organizing events, including open houses at the Finishing Equipment Specialist, training and technology tours to Italy, she has embraced the entire team, and likewise, the team has embraced her, collaborating on projects of all types to achieve set objectives, the nominator says. With Kristen's help, the sales team has become more confident in their efforts. Congratulations, Kristen. Next is Ben Roberts, U.S. Marketing Director at Caboni U.S., Innovative and creatively an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial are just some of the words used to describe Ben, who has had an integral part in the company's North American sales and brand expansion. His knowledge of social media and storytelling in conjunction with PR have brought tremendous attention to the brand, contributing to the company's best year of sales to date, says his nominator. Ben has not only drawn rave reviews for the revamped company website, his strong background in content and video marketing can also be seen in the video series, Design versus Build at Kaboni. Congratulations, Ben. Our next honoree is Jonathan Saucier, Product Manager, WebCab Inc. Jonathan has dedicated his career to the advancement of software and technology for wood manufacturers. His nominator says his vision to contribute to the optimization of manufacturing facilities drives continuous innovation that responds to a real need in our industry. His passion is contagious and combined with his deep understanding of the unique challenges of wood manufacturing make him a definite person of interest and someone to watch for years to come. Jonathan has the knowledge and understanding to create products that bring our manufacturers into industry 4.0 in a practical and realistic way. Congratulations, Jonathan. Next is Chris Sabak, president of SNS Woodcraft Inc. Chris is considered a model for other small business owners. He is quote, forward thinker in product, efficient, product efficiency, accounting, team leadership, and marketing, says one nominator. His keen interest is to improve in all those areas, and he's invested significant time and money to do so. I place him in the top 10% of the business owners I've worked with in regard to his commitment to excellence. Another nominator notes, Chris is motivated by his pride in producing quality products to always move forward with no intention to stay stationary or to become stagnant in an ever-changing field, she says. Congratulations, Chris. Our next honoree is Josh Shen, CNC equipment engineer and software developer at CNC Factory. Motivated by the challenge of building a better machine, making the best even better, Josh has been instrumental in helping improve the company's product offerings. After the sale, Josh has also provided software enhancements, modification services, and troubleshoots CNC operational issues as they are identified. Customers call Josh directly, and his greatest satisfaction is not only helping customers with their immediate need, but helping them to be even more productive and achieve even more capacity from their CNC machines than they ever imagined, says a nominator. In recognition of his efforts, Shen will spearhead the new facility in New Jersey. 
Congratulations, Josh. Next up is Jaron Smoker, owner of Seven Trees Woodworking LLC. Jaron is, quote, a visionary who sets targets, then not only achieves them, but also exceeds them, says one nominator. Since opening in 2009, the custom woodwork business achieved 10 years of consecutive growth, and 11 would have been a slam dunk if it hadn't been for COVID-19. Jaron himself adds, I'm motivated by working with great people and being able to create awesome pro projects with them. I'm also motivated to provide a workplace that builds people up. In addition to being actively involved in associations, he is also volunteers on projects as church. Congratulations, Jaron. Our next honoree is Nick Stoltzfoot, uh, Vice President of Operations at Keystone Wood Specialties. Uh, an intelligent, calm, and steadfast leader, Nick's thorough understanding of all aspects of the business is invaluable to the woodworking industry, most recently evident during the COVID-19 crisis, says his nominator. His leadership during this challenging time saved jobs and ensured the company remained viable so that the many contractors, remodelers, and cabinet makers that rely on Keystone Wood Specialties products could remain viable as well. She adds Nick's deep appreciation to the hard work that his family and the many long-term employees have put forth in building and growing the company motivates him to ensure that his legacy continues. Congratulations, Nick. Next is John Taylor, president of Ruck Cabinet Doors LLC. It's no exaggeration to say that John wears many hats. In addition to president of Ruck Cabinet Doors, John is also the president of Lycos Incorporated and its companies, Lycos Finish, Lycos Manufacturing, Ruck Specialties, and Ruck Surfaces. John obtained Ruck a little over a year ago after learning how the shop closed without warning, leaving employees unpaid and customers in the lurch. Within a month, employees were rehired and the shop was fulfilling orders. His nominator says, it's been a crazy transformative year, but we're able to turn everything around by focusing on supporting our employees, developing customer relationships, and finding ways to be more efficient in our shop. All of this wouldn't be possible without John. Congratulations, John. Our next honoree is Sarah Walker, office manager at Osborne Wood Products, Inc. From the start, Sarah has shown initiative, expressed in creative problem-solving skills and team leadership, says her nominator. She developed tools to streamline and make more effective communications, front office accounting, and timely customer response system. Sarah also revamped the employee training process and enhanced the internship program into a strategic goal-achieving program with public recognition. This served to enhance the self-confidence of our interns, as well as to promote the value of work ethic. Woodworking is viewed as an area of opportunity as a result of this recognition. Her nominator adds, along with mentoring students, Sarah also mentors parolees on job skills. Congratulations, Sarah. Next is Myron Whitmer, partner at Cabin Tree. Myron is a visionary as it relates to the evolution of the product we've developed and continue to develop, says his nominator. He brings a mindset and experience level to each discussion, someone with 20 plus years in the field. His nominator adds, his ability to put himself in woodworkers' positions and consistently find the technology solutions for the customer is amazing. He builds trust with them and with trust, he brings business to us. He's credible right out of the gate. Our business has benefited from his ability to capture this trust from the customer. Congratulations, Myron. Our next honoree is Cameron Young, co-owner and vice president of Wood Specialties, Inc. Cameron literally, literally worked his way from the ground up sweeping assembly project manager and production manager before becoming vice president and co-owner overseeing the production and installation of the company's high-end projects. We continue to implement cutting-edge technology and machinery to produce the highest quality products, 
our 3D modeling, rendering, and virtual walkthroughs are above and beyond what I see anyone else doing in the industry, he says. Described as a technological craftsman with a passion for all things woodworking, Cameron is motivated by creating a great work environment and making clients happy by making their dreams and visions come true. Congratulations, Cameron. And our final honoree for uh, 2020 is Ali Sarai, Controller and Corporate Secretary, Richmond Plywood Corporation Limited. Ali continues to propel the company's financial success to new heights by maximizing its intrinsic value and building a solid balance sheet that enables us to weather any financial storm, says this nominator. A recipient of the 2017 Canadian Forest Industries Top 10 Under 40 Award, Ali's working capital liquidity and specifically free cash flow management is bar none, this nominator adds as it ensures the utmost reliance, resiliency, and longevity of the company is maintained. Since joining Rich Ply, all key balance and ratio records continue to be surpassed. His keenness and pursuit of setting new financial precedents is pivotal in his continued achievement of impeccable results. Congratulations, Ali. Wow, I'm just really impressed with that list of people. That's amazing. We can, we'd like to congratulate all the 40 under 40 honorees and thank you for your commitment to the woodworking industry. We also want um, to stay tuned for more information about our upcoming 40 under 40 networking happy hour scheduled for Wednesday, September 30th at 6 Central, which is 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, just in case anyone has any confusion there. And we hope to see you there. And Sounds please like stay tuned. We've got a few videos. To share. Hi, I'm Corey Lorizon from Ottawa, Canada. I'm very humbled and honored to be a part of this amazing group of people, both past and present. I want to thank the Woodworking Network for organizing this amazing event and for recognizing industry professionals who are making an impact. I look forward to meeting you all and I hope you're all staying safe. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tyler Paskech. I'm the second generation owner in our family business, Eurowood Cabinets in Omaha, Nebraska. I'd just like to say thank you to my dad, Doug, for nominating me for this. And I'd like to thank the Eurowood team for always being receptive to our production changes and improvements and process uh, changes. So uh, thanks again to all of those people and congratulations to all the other candidates. Thanks again. Hi, I'm Emily Burgoyne, a product manager at Masonite Architectural. I'm thrilled to be one of this year's 40 Under 40 recipients, and I look forward to seeing how this group helps define the future of our industry. Hi, my name is Jesse Mullet, and I am humbled and grateful to accept this award. A special thank you to everyone at the Woodworking Network and to Rob and Arvid for the nomination. My accomplishments would not have been possible without the help of an amazing team of people who work hard, respect, and lift each other up. Thanks again, and God bless. Hi, my name is Lindsay Heights, and I am the Sales and Design Manager at Dan Lee Wood Products. We are a custom cabinet manufacturer in Forest in Illinois, and I just want to say thank you for the nomination for 40 Under 40 from Woodworking Network. Hi, my name is Morgan Hoppensberger. I'm the Creative Director for Microjig. So first and above all, I want to thank Microjig and our founder, Henry Wang, for trusting me to communicate the, uh, his vision for Microjig and for Woodworking Network for um, making my mother very, very proud of me. So thanks for that. And that's it for me. Thanks. I'm Joey Anton with Anton Cabinetry. I've been in the business about uh, 20 years or so, and I'm very honored to be part of this year's 40 Under 40. Congratulations to everyone. I really look forward to meeting you. So uh, that, that wraps up our presentation, folks. Um, I just want to give you a little message from Tim Fixmer, again, the CEO and president of Woodworking Network. Uh, Tim says, a heartfelt congratulations to each of this year's honorees. We're also very proud to have you join the 160 alumni who have received this distinction in the past. 
you'll join the best of the best because of your achievements and dedication to our thriving industry. So again, thanks everyone for attending and uh, look forward to 2021 when we can do this in person. So thanks again, everybody. So long. <laughs>